beautiful, beautiful. I love it. Hi, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another video. For today's video, I am trying some Elf cosmetics makeup that just launched in India. I did take a question on my community post and ask y'all if y'all want me to try it out. And a lot of y'all were like, "It's too expensive, so don't waste your money." Which was so cute because I understand that it is very expensive, and I'm going to dive into that topic in the video while I'm trying all of this out. But a lot of others also said that if you're trying makeup, then try something that was not sent as PR, so that you know you can get variety and see everything in performance so that's what i've done i did not receive pr at all from elf because it is retailing on nika but i did go ahead and purchase some makeup myself so i got the foundation and the concealer because i wanted to try the base makeup out i'm also running a wear test on this and i'm going to see how it performs at the end of the day after wearing it for 6 to 7 hours and i have the eye shadow palette also the lipstick and also another eyeliner and the makeup sponge so if you want to see all of this in action then you can continue watching but also if this is the first time you've come on my channel then please take a moment and hit the subscribe button and join the sara squad if you enjoy honest beauty reviews and relatable makeup and lifestyle content i'm sure you'll have a great time here also don't forget to hit the bell icon right next to it so that every time i upload a video you get notified with that let's dive into this All right, so I do have base makeup to test out because a lot of base makeup was not tested in a lot of like PR review videos. So I thought I would go ahead and buy base makeup. So of course, like always, I do emphasize that do cleanse your face before you apply makeup. And I have cleansed my face with the Derma Weave Hydra Cleanser as always. My face is squeaky clean. It is really, really good. It's soap free, fragrance free, and also took away all of the gunk on my face. So after cleansing, I'm going in with moisturizer. I'm using my Nutridom Vitamin E Moisturizing Lotion. I'll just do my skin prep and then we'll zoom in and do my eye makeup so that um, by that time you know the moisturizer can really nicely sink into my face, give me all the hydration I need, and then when I apply my base makeup, that is my foundation and concealer, it goes on really well and it will, of course, you know we have to give our foundation a fair chance. We have to give it. All the love we can, and then see if it performs or no. So while all of the skincare gets nicely soaked in my skin, let's dive into eye makeup. So to prep my eyes, I always use concealer so that I have a smooth canvas before I go in with eye shadow. And today I have the Elf Cosmetics concealer itself. This is the 16-hour camo concealer matte finish, and I got the shade tan walnut. And oh my god, what a mismatch this shade is! So this is my Wet n Wild concealer in the shade medium deep tan, which suits me really well. And look at the difference. This is straight up white, and I got the shade. Tan walnut. Yeah, it looked dark on the side. It says tan walnut. What part of this looks tan or the shade of walnut to you? So it's such a misleading concealer name. But anyway, we're going to try to make it work. At least on eyes, I don't think it will be a problem. But when I'm doing my face makeup, I'll have to mix it around and make it work because I need to see if the formula is good or no. And for blending this, I also got the camo sponge. So this I did see in review videos, and I, like you know, there's a mix. Review. Some people say it's too soft. Some people say it's really, really good. It says it's latex free and elf as a whole is also cruelty free and vegan. It is pretty soft. It's shaped really differently, shaped like a bullet. So it has a pointy end on both sides that I like. Uh, it is pretty small right now, like very small. So I'm gonna go wet it and let's see what the size difference looks like. So it's enlarged to a decent amount. It's not very big, but it is super, super squishy. Like you can see, I can squish it completely. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, we'll have to try it to really see how it works. Taking the Elf concealer, it has a nice and thick wand. Very nice. It's similar to the Pack Spotlight wand and the Makeup Revolution concealer wand. Also very creamy and opaque. I wish the shade was a good match, yar. Okay, taking the sponge, I'm going to use one side for concealer so I can keep the other side for foundation. The one side is really pointed and the other is a little blunt. So, dusra side I will keep for foundation. The sharper side I'll take for concealer. This concealer definitely has a neutral undertone to it. It's not warm. Neutral undertone products do work for me, but I mean, I'll have to see how it looks on my face. It's definitely going to be too light, so we'll have to like mix foundation in it and see. Very little product went a very long way, so it did cover quite a lot. I'm going to take some more to cover up my veins. It's too soft, so you have to go with a very light hand. If you press too much, I feel like it's picking up too much product on the sponge and not really spreading my concealer that well. 
So just go with a light hand. So this is what the bite size eyeshadow palette looks like. It's super super tiny. There are only four shades in this, and it's four hundred. So you're almost paying like four rupee for one one eyeshadow. So I got the shade Truffles because I saw that this has colors that can complete one eye look. मतलब if you have nothing like this. or if you don't have a smoky palette or smoky tones then something like this will cover your one eye shadow look overall so we'll do a quick eye look with this i might just fast forward through this part and then tell you all how i feel about the shadows so let's go Okay so this is the eye look that I have achieved with this eye shadow palette. I went for a really smoky glam went really intense with my eyes. Now overall I did really like the eye shadow palette. It was not very difficult to make the colors show up. They showed up immediately. Very easy to blend as well. A uh, very minimal fallout and that too with the shimmers. Like the black and the silver gave me definite fallout. So if you're using shimmers in these eye shadow palettes, make sure that you're doing your eye makeup before you do your base makeup. But apart from that the mattes were really easy to blend. Did not give me any fallout. whatsoever pigmentation is also really good so i think overall this palette is definitely worth the money because like 400 you're paying 100 rupees each eye shadow you can play around and you know do at least three eye looks with this one eye shadow palette so yeah in my opinion this is definitely a winner i'm just going to clean up my face do my lashes and brows and everything off camera and then we'll head on with base makeup all right base makeup i'm just taking my shambor anti shine primer first i did not buy the primer from elf because it was very very expensive and now as i do my base makeup I do want to dive into the fact that oh my god how expensive is Elf in India? I have bought some Elf makeup back when you know whenever somebody comes from US, I make sure to place an order on their website because it's so dirt cheap. It's like three dollars, four dollars, and I know every time some makeup company has come to India, it has become very expensive. Or uh, the same thing happened with Milani, even Wet n Wild, but it's never been this exorbitantly expensive. Like especially like Milani is expensive even abroad. Uh, Milani Cosmetics comes under the higher uh, expensive drug. Store category. So when it came here, also became thousand fifteen hundred. It was still very expensive for Milani, which is why I just went ahead and bought some makeup this year from Milani. Itne saal se I never bought anything from India Milani. I'm gonna dive into my foundation while we talk about this. Uh, so this is the Elf Flawless Satin Foundation. I got the shade four fifty caramel. Again, this has neutral undertones. It says it has a satin finish. And you start with a small amount on the face. Is the directions very small, cute bottle? You're not getting a lot of product in this. Paid rupees eight hundred for like twenty ml of product. So I mean, it will like if you're using it every day, last you only a month. But then eight hundred, I didn't find expensive for a base product because okay, ठीक है when it goes on discount, you can still afford it. So I'm just gonna take one pump. I hope this shade is a good match for me. Looks fine. Looks fine, right? They don't have a lot of like even shades. Like why don't you bring all the shades to India? So my problem is that I mean, for me, just itne sare shades. You can see it's almost out of stock already. Everything on Elf or Nykaa. So you know the market in India is so diverse. We have so many skin tones over here. We have money to buy your makeup. So come on, just bring everything here. So I'm just gonna take this first pump and first spread that out. The shade is a pretty good match, if I'm not wrong. Like it. matches my skin tone exactly so yay for that because at least i got the foundation right even though the concealer is such a mismatch and it's blending out this dude this sponge is picking up everything everything has been picked up on this 
Can you see, मतलब मेरे फेस पे इट्स जस्ट अ श्योर लेयर एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट इज इन दिस स्पंज इट्स पिकिंग अप टू मच प्रोडक्ट इवन दो इट्स वेरी सॉफ्ट इट फील्स लाइक आई एम टू अप्लाइंग टू मच प्रेशर बट इट इज पिकिंग अप अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड स्पेशली बिकॉज आई एम यूज टू माइक्रो फाइबर स्पंजेज ना आई एम नॉट यूज टू माई लाइक स्पंज पिकिंग अप सो मच ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट आई हैव टू रियली टेक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ प्रोडक्ट फॉर इट टू वर्क सी इट्स जस्ट टेकिंग अवे एवरी थिंग इज ऑन माई स्पंज नथिंग इज रियली ऑन माई फेस एट दिस पॉइंट But I really like the finish. It's blending very easily. The foundation is spreading very easily. It is definitely a satin finish because there is a slight glow to it, not completely powder matte, and the color match is beautiful. So I know the fact that Elf is so expensive is only to do with customs. It's not really Nykaa's fault or Elf's fault because when the brand comes to India, they have to pay customs as well as you know licensing and everything. And Indian customs is insanely crazy, which is why in UK and US and Canada and all, itna mehenga nahi padta hai when you're shopping from uh, these brands like Wet n Wild and Elf. They all fall in a drugstore like one dollar, two dollar makeup, and even the inventory is not complete. Like all the products are not coming because the Elf tinted lip oil is my favorite. Favorite. The lip oil is so good, and it's not come to India. So, and their brushes are so frightfully expensive. I have so many Elf brushes because I got them for two dollars, three dollars, four dollars at the maximum, and that's the reason I have them. Like three hundred, four hundred is what I've paid for the brushes. So the whole kit I saw was four thousand rupees, and I was like, what? And so I still do recommend that if somebody is coming from abroad, you. Ask them to get you Elf makeup, or then check out Instagram pages because they don't face this custom duty licensing issue. So sometimes it's cheaper on the Instagram pages, right? Because they are not like a completely well-established business. Instagram pages that sell uh, international makeup is like small batches. They just buy when they go to Dubai or you know all these places and they buy and pick up products. So वो customs पे काफी पैसा बचा लेते हैं, which is why they price it lower. And uh, now that Elf has come to India. they will definitely make sure to price lower than nykaa so that their market prices increase you know that's how their business works their business is not like properly licensed and everything so they don't have to face custom issues and go through the whole officiality of things um but yeah i mean like you know this is just indian corruption at this point it's just like if you as a consumer you have to make your wise choice ki tumko paisa bachana hai to tumko kahan se khareedna hai especially i feel like elf makeup is not itna acha so like the foundation is beautiful i would definitely pay 800 for this foundation i really like the finish of it we will see how well it wears but other than that the things like the mist and the primer for 1000 1500 rupees i would rather buy mac fix plus i would rather buy something even better like i would buy wet n wild because it's cheaper and even better so you know i would rather save money like that elf is not such good quality also ki main 1500 do yaar primer or setting spray ke liye to that's why whatever i got in today's video is all priced under rupees 1000 on nykaa from elf uh and also the fact that yeah i shopped on nykaa for elf so there was a comment on my community post where i asked you all should i buy it because i didn't get pr and of course i won't get pr i went ahead and made a complete video on why i won't be shopping from nykaa so definitely they are not going to be sending me pr so i don't mind going ahead and buying things and i did say this in that video as well i'm not cancelling the platform dude if elf is only sold there i have to i have no choice but to buy it from there But if it is going to be sold later on on different platforms, I would love to spend my money on different platforms and give each platform a chance. I wish you all understood that that video, the one I made about Nykaa and my work experience with them, was from a personal spot of how my work experience was unpleasant, but also a lot of other things that I highlighted in that video about me as a consumer and the other things that went on behind the scenes. at their company which was you know brought to light during that period so it was not just to cancel the platform or shame the brand mujhe kya mil raha hai usse like i am not getting anything in fact today i am not getting pr from them i have to go ahead and buy all this so i am not getting anything from doing that you know i just wanted to bring it to light keep you all as close and connected to my life and what happens behind the scenes i'm always very very transparent when it comes to brand deals every everything i try to keep it very very transparent with you all because mujhe chupa ke kuch nahi mil raha so yeah that was the whole point of it so somebody said that how are you going to shop on nykaa when you've cancelled the brand that's you being a hypocrite i'm like kahin aur mil raha hota to main khareed leti nahi mil raha isliye main udhar se khareed rahi hu same about two faced same about k by katrina if it's sold nowhere else i have to go ahead and buy it from there just the way huda was initially only sold on nykaa but now even sephora is a huda partner so Later on, I think even you know H O K makeup or somebody might pick up on Elf and sell Elf too. The way Milani was also first only sold on Nykaa, 
but then now it's sold on HOK makeup as well. So yeah, you guys take a little bit of a chill when it comes to certain things because uh, I'm not a hypocrite. That's the last thing I want to do because yeah, my life is literally on the internet. So why would I go ahead and cancel what I only say and you know, I've not deleted the video and I'm not canceling my thoughts. I still feel the exact same way. By the way, this foundation is beautiful, beautiful. I love it. I don't love this sponge so much. It's picked up literally so much. I had to take two pumps for my face. So now let's go ahead with this concealer. Uh, this is the shade Tan Walnut. I already mentioned it. And I'm going to take some at the back of my hand and mix it with the foundation so that like I can test the formula out while the shade is so wrong for me. I really, really want to try the, like, the formula of the concealer. So I've taken like a little bit. I'm going to mix it with my foundation shade. Try to come up with something that makes it work for me. This is too light to do. That's going to make my under eyes look very ashy. I'm going to take like very little. I really like how opaque this concealer is because it's good pigment. It's full coverage. Okay, it's kind of working. It is definitely light. But for the sake of this video, I mean if it was another time when I'm doing my makeup otherwise, I will mix it with a darker concealer. But for the sake of this video, it's not bad. Not bad. Dude, this concealer is beautiful coverage, yaar. I mean, how much you have seen so much? Like, in so much product, it works really beautifully. And I think this sponge is very good for a concealer. Not so much for the foundation. The, like, the pokey part of it is going in my inner corner really well. And it blended out so fast. That's beautiful. It's bad, you guys. The shade match is bad. Please go three to four shades darker. If you're anything like, you know, if you're medium deep tan in Wet n Wild, go three to four shades darker in the concealer. Okay, I also found out that I do have the e.l.f. baked highlighter. So this I got from the US and it's not launched in India. But I just wanted to use this only to show you all that it is a very pretty highlight. But it is very subtle. It's not very much out there. This is the shade Moonlight Pearls, if I'm not wrong. It's very old, so you know the shade and all is also gone by now. And this is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. So yeah. To complete my eyes, I'm using the same palette for my lower lash line. I'm going to take the dark brown itself. I'm going to smoke out the lower lash line. I don't think it looks that bad anymore. Like at least the shade match. And the formula is really pretty, you guys. I really like it. So when I went off camera, I did my eyeliner and I used the black eyeliner by mistake and then I realized that I have an elf ka eyeliner bhi hai. Hai. This is their expert liquid eyeliner in the shade Charcoal Grey. I did not want to buy a black because you know, same old, same old. So I bought a grey eyeliner. They had three colors in this. One looked like a dark purple and uh, it said Midnight and then this was Charcoal Grey and there was Jet Black. This was 400 if I'm not wrong. Packaging is very sleek and nice. I really like e.l.f. packaging overall. Very sleek and minimalistic. And this is what the brush looks like. It is very promising. Since I've already put black eyeliner, I'm going to overline it with this. I don't know if I'm doing the complete wing with the grey or only the inner corner. Let's see. I've used the Estee Lauder eyeliner by the way. Let me just swatch it at the back of my hand and see how it looks. So, dude, this is not charcoal grey. This looks black only. How is this charcoal grey? It the only the tube is charcoal grey. Okay, look at this. And then, this is my Estee Lauder black eyeliner. What is the color difference? It's very minute, very minute. Okay, so maybe because it's charcoal grey, it's pretty black, which is why it's not showing up also over my Estee Lauder black liner. So, I mean, I'll test it out in another video to see if it works because externally, I mean, the brush looks good. You're getting good amount of product. It's only 400. I don't know how the formula is, if it bleeds or no. It's not really bleeding over here. It's matte and it's also not smudging. So, uh, to externally it's looking good, but we'll give it a good eye try on in some other video. Finally, for lipstick, I have the e.l.f. Liquid Matte Lipstick in the shade Praline. I've always been impressed with e.l.f. lip products, never really complained about them. This was, if I'm not wrong, 600 or 800. This is also 800 rupees. Let's see if it's worth 800 rupees. Dude, this is very new. 
okay so the formula is very opaque one swipe pigmentation doesn't feel too dry as well it's very moussey and whipped and it's now setting in place but the color is very very cool toned so it's looking like kind of washing me out which is why i'm gonna mix a darker lipstick but i just wanted you all to see this just as is that this color might not be right up your alley if you're dusky skin because it's gonna wash you out so i'm gonna mix a darker lipstick with this the formula is really nice and matte and it's set really matte in place does feel thodos are drying not too much let's see i'm gonna wear this makeup for a good six to seven hours now so we'll see how it wears throughout the day just giving you a close-up of how my base makeup looks right now so it's around 2 30 right now i will check in with you all five hours later and we'll see at 7 30 ish how the makeup is wearing throughout the day so that we have a good idea i have a lot of work to complete so i will go ahead and do that and then let's summarize all of the elf makeup that we tried on today and what are the hits and the misses Alrighty guys, it's time for the final judgment. I have been wearing this makeup for roughly five and a half to six hours. It's currently 7.45. And uh, yes, I do have my final thoughts. I think the foundation is beautiful. Definitely my skin has turned a little oily right now. Like because I am oily skin type in this area, I have started to like like my foundation my skin looks a little shiny if i was wearing this outside i would need to powder my face for my like foundation to stay in place but even though my skin has gotten a little of that shine my foundation is not transferring anywhere because i just wore my mask to go down for a walk and it did not transfer on my mask that much there was some amount of transfer but not that much there has also not been any oxidization of the foundation like the foundation shade stayed true to shade like the shade caramel is exactly the way i applied it it has has not oxidized throughout the day it has stayed in place not transferred it was also full coverage it did like you know cover all my acne scarring and all of my darkness very well like just the foundation gave me beautiful coverage i do like the satin finish of it so definitely the foundation is the winner for today's video i think for both dry as well as oily skin types it will suit really well because it's a satin finish not completely matte where you know dry skin types don't like it and also not very dewy where also oily skin types don't like it so i think this is definitely our winner it is 800 rupees so you can wait for it to go on sale and grab your shade this shade is a very good match for me so if you're an nc 43.5 in mac then the elf flawless satin foundation you need in the shade caramel next winner of today's video has to be the elf bite-sized eyeshadow palettes you can see that the eyeshadow blended really well looked very beautiful at the same time the shadows are also still in place the shimmers did not give me fallout throughout the day it's very much in place very very beautiful 400 for this is not a very big pinch in your pocket there are very many shades for you to choose from according to your taste and according to your style so again another one i highly recommend and the third and last must have i feel is this 16 hour camo concealer definitely this shade is a complete complete mismatch for me don't even try to buy this shade if you're nc 43.5 in mac go like three shades darker aram say in this later on when all of the shades are available on nika i will go ahead and buy my proper shade and then tell you all and update you all in further videos what my actual shade is but for now i think the formula is beautiful my under eyes look really really beautiful i got the shade also to match somehow so my under eyes are not looking ashy at the same time again it's not creasing it's stayed in place it's so well pigmented i took so little product and it's still blended beautifully so i think this is a must have from elf again this is also 800 rupees so i think i mean it's not very expensive because you're getting good amount of product but you can like figure it out if you want to get it on sale that's up to your discretion but yeah if you're looking for a good concealer this is a good formula now the least impressive i think were the last three items this sponge i don't know what i feel about this uh i mean it's good it did the job but it soaked up way too much product my base looks very very beautiful it has a very unique uh sort of a soft finish a soft texture to it where it gave me the perfect amount of bounce and my base definitely does look very flawless but the amount of product i needed to get this sort of base makeup was a little irking to me plus it is 800 rupees for this sponge so do i choose this over my microfiber sponges not surely i still do recommend my microfiber so this was meh for me then again this eyeliner was also not true to color the packaging is gray it says charcoal gray but it did not like look gray at all maybe the formula is good and it is only 400 rupees so it's not really a i wouldn't say it's a bad product it's just a meh product like it's not true to color if i'm looking for colored eyeliner i won't really gravitate to this 
and then the lipstick was also pretty meh for 800 rupees this when i ate lunch after i finished filming the first half of the video when i was eating lunch the lipstick actually just went away and that's why i've topped it up with a mistless of matte lip cream which actually stayed in place much longer so then again this lipstick is also very meh for a liquid lipstick it's very drying but not very long wearing and the color also washed me out so this was another not recommended by me so that was all for my elf hits and misses first impressions and also wear test of the foundation let me know in the comment section if you have purchased anything from elf what is it or what are you looking to buy since most of it is out of stock right now if you did actually like today's video don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for today's video the sara score shout out goes to ehlish thank you so much for watching and supporting my channel if you want to be a part of next video sara score shout out all you got to do is hit the subscribe button bell icon right next to it and also leave a comment down below saying hashtag sara score and you get a chance to be a part of my next video sara score shout out i will see you guys very soon in another video bye guys take care i love you mm -hmm.